A 12-year-old boy admits in court that he did play a role in the death of a Cromwell man. Hello, I'm Mark Mellinger. And I'm Heather Heron. The boy had his initial hearing in juvenile court today, where he is charged with assisting a criminal. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson was in the courtroom and is live in News Control tonight with what happened. Well, police say the 12-year-old helped two of his friends kill a man. Today, the boy admitted to those allegations. Is there anything you'd like to say? Well, the 12-year-old boy with handcuffs holding his arms in front of him looked small in the courtroom where he admitted to an assisting a criminal charge, a Class C felony. One of the considerations was the strength of the evidence. So that was one of the things we talked about. And we also finality and resolving this quickly. Police say the boy knew two other boys were planning to kill 49-year-old Philip Danner. On April 20th, police say the 12-year-old stood outside Danner's house while 15-year-old Colt Lundy and 12-year-old Paul Gingrich shot Danner inside. Police say the boy then saw Danner lying on the floor and went home. Later that night, police say the boys snuck out and started driving to Arizona. Police stopped them in Illinois. Lundy is Danner's stepson. Police say he told them he had to kill Danner before they could go to Arizona. Lundy and Gingrich are charged with murder in adult court. Today, the 12-year-old's lawyer asked the court to allow him to go home with his mother until the next court date. She has a tutor set up and she thinks that she can help him educationally between now and the next hearing. But the prosecution argued that because of all the attention this case is getting, the boy would be safer locked in a detention center. The judge ruled to keep him in the Pearson juvenile facility. The boy's mother and stepfather didn't want to speak to us, but his aunt did say one thing. He's a good boy. The boy will be back in court on May 26th.